This video will go over the installation of IPD adjustable torque rods into a 1982 Volvo 245. This can be completed in an afternoon. When removing and replacing your torque rods, only do so one side at a time. While the car is on level ground, use an angle finder to measure the drive shaft angles. To do this, you will need the flat sides of the carrier bearing and rear differential flanges to be parallel with and facing the ground. Do not measure the flanges attached directly to the drive shaft. To align your drive shaft, gradually inch your car in either direction until aligned as specified. First, measure the angle of the drive shaft at the carrier bearing in the center of the car. Second, measure the angle of the drive shaft at the rear differential. Make note of these measurements for future reference. They should be equal and opposite. For example, if the carrier bearing reads negative 4 degrees, the rear differential should read plus 4 degrees. To start, loosen the lug nuts on your wheels. Now, depending on your torque rod adjustments, ramps might work, but jack stands will be best. Place your jack underneath the flat section of your rear differential. Lift and place jack stands at the rear jacking points so that the axle is not bearing any weight. Remove the lug nuts and wheels from the car. Remove the nut securing the top of the shock to the chassis. Remove the screw securing the bottom of the shock to the control arm. Do not lose the shock spacer. Remove the shock absorber. Loosen and remove the lower screw securing the torque rod to the rear axle. Loosen and remove the upper screw securing the torque rod to the chassis. Remove the torque rod from the car. Inspect and compare your new IPD torque rods with your OEM torque rods. Adjust the new torque rod to the length desired. For this project, I matched the length of my original torque rods. Tighten the lock nut on the torque rod. Reseat the front of the torque rod to the chassis. Insert and tighten the forward screw Seat the torque rod back into the rear axle ears. It will be a snug fit, so it may require a few taps with a mallet. Once seated, fully tighten the rear screw. Replace the shock absorber by reconnecting the top and bottom mounting points. Reseat the wheel and hand place the lug nuts. And repeat the same process on the other side of the car. Once complete, lower your car, retorque your lug nuts, and double check your measurements on the carrier bearing and rear differential. If equal and opposite, you're all good. Drive the car around for the rest of the day and then double check all of your screws and nuts. Retorque as needed. After that, you're all done. Enjoy your Volvo 240.